so uh, and apart from this as you can observe one more thing this is a even reaction because in the rds if you look you have water molecule and this water molecule is being removed off so that result in formation of a free carbocation right so in the rds you have only one molecule so this is a even and base comes after the rds in the third step so this is a reaction taking via even mechanism fine and of course there is a formation of pure carbocation and of course there would be rearrangement if there is a possibility so bearing all these things in mind let's start to solve problems over dehydration reaction let's start with simple problems problem number 1 Now suppose I take H2SO4 and I give you heat. Now this heat, if not given, you will not form alkene as a major product. Instead, you will form ether. So this reagent is the reagent of dehydration. I mean, over the arrow, no one will write dehydration. They will write H2SO4 and heat, and the alcohol will be the substrate. So looking at the reagent, you have to know that this is the dehydration reaction. Fine. now uh, start learning start using the mechanism and getting the correct final product so you get back to the mechanism get those three steps on your fingertips practice them over and over again regurgitate them recapitulate them practice 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 and start solving these problems they are simple easy now i am going to do it quickly for you but you you what you need to do is you need to do it yourself and then check your answer the initially few problems i will again repeat the mechanism later on i'll straight away write the product and you should also be able to straight away get to the product but since it's a first problem let me quickly get you through the mechanism as well the first step will be protonation h plus would be coming out of this h2so4 getting protonated on this alcohol so let me quickly 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 give you the protonated alcohol this is a protonated alcohol step number 1 step number 2 this water will be removed off so there will be a carbocation formed now before step number 3 can happen before acid base reaction can happen if there is a possibility of migration of rearrangement of stabilizing this carbocation further there always be a stabilized carbocation on which acid base reaction will occur because rearrangement is a fast process before a base can come and abstract a hydrogen rearrangement would have already been occurred so by the time base comes it will find a rearranged carbocation so before you go to the third step you always have to rearrange this carbocation to get the most stable carbocation this carbocation is 1 degree if you migrate a hydride from this carbon to this carbon if you do one two hydride shift now i'm not teaching you migration how it occurs because i have already taught you in case you have missed that you go back to the lecture of migration and uh, then come back when you do one two hydride shift one two hydride shift means you just have hydride shift is always one two you don't but still be right one two hydride shift you never have one three hydride shift one two means adjacent shift so a hydride from this carbon will come and shift here suppose you pluck out h minus it doesn't happens like h minus is sprung out of carbon but suppose you pluck out h minus then that h minus and c plus form a bond just for the sake of understanding so this ch2 plus and h minus will form a bond so it will become ch3 and when you pluck out h minus this carbon will have a plus charge so it will have c plus so the carbocation that now you have is a 2 degree carbocation and it has more hyperconjugating structures and it, it that makes it more stable so this is a rearranged carbocation now when you bring a bring a base now that base has to abstract a hydrogen and both the carbons on both side of this plus charge are similar it can abstract a hydrogen from anywhere not going to make a difference so third step base minus base will come and abstract a hydrogen and will that will give you propene now here you can be lucky if you don't rearrange then if you go straight away with this carbocation 
and abstract the hydrogen from here still you will get a propene but that luck will not give get you too far because in other compounds if you don't do rearrangement you will get a wrong product all right so this is how it will occur in three steps suppose we have butanol and the those three steps will always be there and in between second step and third step you may have rearrangement first step is protonation simple second step removal of water molecule done now third step now before going to third step just look out if there can can there be rearrangement can you stabilize further this carbocation and since this is a 1 degree carbocation you can go further and stabilize it if you migrate this carbocation this if you migrate this hydride ion then a plus ion will be generated here now i'm not going to show that migration i'm just going to give you a feel if you pluck out hydride ion from here and give it to this carbon this carbon will form a bond with, with that hydride ion and this will become ch3 and hydrogen will come out of this carbon and this carbon will develop a plus charge so in before step number 3 will happen you will have a hydride shift and you have stabilized this carbocation now you have to see can you further stabilize that carbocation with yet another migration if you further i mean no because this is already 2 degree carbocation and if you migrate it migrate a hydride from this carbon then this carbon will generate a plus charge and it will be similar to this because of symmetry fine so instead of this carbon this carbon will have a plus charge not going to make any difference in the stability so there will be no uh, no more migration now a base will come now in the third step will occur when a base comes now either it can abstract a hydrogen from c1 or c2 when it does from c1 you get one butene when it does from c2 you get two butene of course two butene will be the major product because this alkene has six hyper conjugating structure six alpha hydrogen and this alkene has only two alpha hydrogen so this alkene is more stable because of more alpha hydrogens because of more extent of hyper conjugation actually there will be three products now if i can show them one will be one butene and in this two butene there can be two isomers a cis isomer and a trans isomer this will be the three possible products the major product will be 2 butene and out of that 2 butene if you have to see which arrangement the cis arrangement or the trans arrangement is major then you have to look for stability now how you are how you are going to look the stability of cis and trans you are going to look at uh, as per dipole moment this carbon is sp2 hybridized this carbon is sp3 hybridized this carbon is more electronegative because it has higher percentage s character as we have talked before when we studied inductive effect so this carbon is going to pull electron and this carbon is also going to pull electron so the dipole moment if you look at the direction of dipole moment it will be something like this for this bond and something like this for this bond and the resultant will be this So if you have similar kind of analysis for this this carbon is going to pull electron and this carbon is going to pull electron so the direction of dipole moment for this bond is this and the direction of dipole moment for this bond is like this so they are going to cancel out and this will be polar now because of polar higher polarity it will have more attraction between two different molecules so that will make this cis to butene much mo not much more but slightly more stable than trans to butene so if you have to uh, let me number it, name it as a b c so the step percent the, the the order of their percentage as a final product would be a would be highest followed by b followed by c